Hey guys, in this video I will show you the difference between low and high frequency inverters. This is what I will talk about. I'm Nick, author of Off-Grid Solar Power Simplified. Subscribe to the channel for more information about off-grid solar. Let's get started. When comparing both inverters, we can categorize them according to five criteria. These are weight, efficiency, applications, lifespan and price. Let's take a closer look, starting with low frequency inverters. Low frequency inverters are generally heavier because they use larger and heavier transformers. For example, a low frequency 12 volt 1000 watt inverter can weigh around 35 pounds or 16 kilograms. They generally have a higher idle power consumption, with Victron being an exception, which I will talk about later. They are better suited for systems expecting inductive loads, such as air conditioning, electric motors and compressors for fridges. They can handle a much larger surge than high frequency inverters. Their lifespan is generally longer than high frequency inverters, because it's less reliant on electronics and handles the surge power better. They're usually more expensive because of the copper coil. You can see a large heavy transformer inside the inverter. Let's talk about high frequency inverters. High frequency inverters are lighter, because they don't use a big transformer. For example, a high frequency 12 volt 1000 watt inverter weighs about 6 pounds or 2.7 kilograms. High frequency inverters generally have a lower standby idle consumption. These inverters are more appropriate for systems with resistive loads, like lights or a kettle. If you have a lot of surges, this can reduce the lifespan of the inverter. It doesn't last as long as low frequency inverters, because of the many electronics, mainly capacitors. These are cheaper, because less copper is being used. High frequency inverters use MOSFETs to switch electronically. These MOSFETs need cooling and are attached to heatsinks. In the picture you can see the two grey heatsinks, but no large transformer. The choice between a low frequency and high frequency inverter depends on your specific needs, such as the type of loads you plan to power and the required reliability of your system. Here are some examples from popular brands. Victron combines both technologies in what they call hybrid or combined high frequency inverters. That's why their idle power consumption is so low. Ames, they use low frequency inverters. Most GROAT inverters use high frequency, but they also have low frequency inverters available. If you don't know if it's a low or high frequency inverter, look at the weight. This will make it clear. For example, a 3 kW high frequency inverter weighs 13 pounds or 6 kg, while a 3 kW low frequency inverter weighs 42 pounds or 19 kg, about 3 times more. Efficiency largely depends on the brand and not the type of inverter. In the end, I recommend using a low frequency inverter, preferably from Victron because they also have a low idle power consumption. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like. It will help grow the channel, so I can make more videos for you. Watch these videos next, and I will see you in the next one.